I'll ask you to pray for me while I'm up here. The Lord will bless me to say a few words that might reach out to someone. You know, I woke up this morning and I said to myself, the Lord, the devil is not going to keep me from coming to church today, and I'm so thankful to be here. And um, God gave us a, a way to to reach the kingdom of heaven and all these worldly things that we cherish sometimes and all the gold and silver in this world will pass away and and what will stand is you and God in the end. And what I want is for, to be blameless in the eyes of God. I want, I want the, Lord, the Lord to be able to look at me and say, there's one of my faithful servants. My name in the book of life. I want these worldly things that people cherish so deeply, like their cars and their houses, that are all pass away, their jobs. It's all worldly things. And, and there's nothing like being able to stand in front of God in prayer and know that what you're trying to do is the best thing you can possibly do in this world, and that's become blameless in the eyes of God. I... Uh, find myself praying for people at work and it's and it's like a, I was having a conversation with someone at work and they said well no I don't I'm not Christian but I believe in God and I said and then he started going on about the Bible and I said well I would respect your opinion if you were a Christian and he looked at me and said really and I said yeah I would respect your opinion if you were a Christian and then later on, I, I went up to him and I said, I apologize, I shouldn't have said that. That's not what God would want me to say to you, and I apologize. But it's hard sometimes when you go out into this world and you see all these different religions, and, and you just sometimes want to shake them up and tell them that there's one God and one, one person that you need to get right with, and that's our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. No one besides Him is the truth or the light or the way. As he said. And it's beautiful that Lord the Lord gave us a way to to return to the kingdom of heaven, our home. And people say, How could a loving God be this and this? It's not it's not God. If you deny it, if you deny the Lord, that's on you. It's Adam and Eve that turned their back on the Lord, and that's the reason that we need to we need Jesus in order to reach the kingdom of heaven. And they say, well, how can, how can God damn you to eternal hell? And it's not God, it's you turning your back on a loving and merciful God that will do that to yourself. And one of these days, I decided to turn my face towards the Lord and ask Him for forgiveness. And I'll never forget the day that I was baptized and there's no, there's no other feeling, there's no way you can explain it other than... And then someone brings up science and this and that, and there's no science in it. There's nothing but the Lord and yourself once you get to that point in your life where you have nowhere else to go but to look towards, look towards God. And I found myself in a place where it was either die or live and God gave me life and um, without, without the Lord in my life I don't know where I'd be right now and um, I'm in a loving home right now with my grandparents my mama and my papa who right when you walk in it says as for me and my house we will serve the Lord and the presence of the Lord is always there and it's beautiful and I couldn't thank the Lord enough for the things that He's given me in my life. And I couldn't thank Him enough for giving me the opportunity to be here today in the house of God. Because there's no other place I'd rather be. You could ask me to go on a vacation to Hawaii or a vacation to Miami or wherever else. But there's no place I'd rather be than right here in the house of God. Where His Holy Spirit abounds. Two or more in His name, I will be there also. And He's here with us today.
And I thank the Lord every single day that I wake up for giving me another day. A day that I actually am thankful for, not a day that I will regret or a day that I would rather not see. But instead a day where I feel alive in the loving in a loving God. So I thank you guys and for being here today and Jesus does says you're welcome. Um I'll call Brother Charlie to lead prayer and uh, you guys go ahead.